Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, this is a really strange video for me to make. I was looking through my channel history and the last time I made like an actual proper channel update, I believe was about eight years ago and I looked like this, but I think it's been a long time coming that we kind of sit down, have a brief conversation about what has been going on with this channel and what I want to do with it in the future. It feels weird to say that I've been kind of camera shy with regard to YouTube for the last little bit, considering I spend most of my days in front of a camera. But uh, I feel like I haven't done nearly a good enough job of actually like sitting down and talking to you guys, because ultimately the videos that I make are for you. And uh, I think in the last couple of years, especially, I have not done a very good job of being communicative and, and actually having an ongoing discussion and dialogue with all of you nice people. The first thing I want to contextualize is YouTube has been a part of my life for my entire adult life. The first videos I ever made came out when I was 15 years old and I am now 25. 2022 was a down year for the channel for a number of reasons. And I'm not gonna get into every single one, but one of them was that I invested my time into other opportunities to do video work for other companies. I've also kind of vaguely thrown around at times in videos, it's like, oh, editor, do this, editor, do that. And I think there's been kind of a lack of clarity on who's editing the videos or if they're still my videos or if this is even still really my channel. And I wanted to kind of break all of that down and sort of explain where things are at and where things are going. So 2022, I took a job doing video work for another company and it ended up becoming significantly more than I thought it was going to be. Contractually speaking, I was looking at making about an hour of content total and I ended up delivering about six times that. And this was something that I chose to do. I wasn't forced to do this. I didn't have to do this, but I saw a really big opportunity and I saw the amount of time I have to make YouTube videos, which is basically like middle of the night or weekends or whatever else. But I saw an opportunity and I said, you know what? I need to prioritize this right now because it could be really important for the remainder of my career. So that's what I did. And it wasn't something I did lightly. It wasn't something that I did um, because it was my favorite thing in the world. It wasn't something I did because I didn't care about this channel. Um, but it was something that I did because I felt like it was the best move for me and for my future. That was sort of when bringing in editors became something that was really important. The goal was never to like run this channel for profit or like, oh, get videos edited so that I have less to do so that I can like passively make money or anything like that. Actually, I have lost money from the point that I started bringing in editors on this channel. Um, and that was the goal. The goal was just to get content going out for you guys while I prioritized other things. And ultimately that's a decision I regret because things did not work out the way that I had wanted them to, not even close. And what ended up happening is I put in a ton of hours into something that probably wasn't worthy of that amount of time. And the people that most got shafted by that decision and what happened in 2022, more than anything else, uh, it was you guys. Not only did the channel have a massive shakeup because a lot of the content going out on it wasn't entirely made by me. I had a hand in almost everything on the channel, but there were still a number of videos that came out that were not done by me. And it's very evident, you can tell, because you know I've got a particular editing style and everything else. And that's not to say they were bad videos. I don't think they were at all, but they were different. So now looking at it, not only did I put you guys through a change and a pretty big shakeup, but coming out of that now, I think people's idea of what my content entails and what it is has changed a lot too. And that kind of sucks. The reality is this industry changes a lot. It's evolved a ton in the 10 years that I've been here and it will continue to evolve. And I think every step of the way for the first five, six, seven years, I did a really good job adapting to the kind of content that you guys wanted to see. And in the last couple of years, as my attention has been focused elsewhere, I think I've lost that a little bit. There's a reason I've stopped making like old school 25 minute long testing videos with PVPing in them. I know there just isn't the same amount of interest in that kind of content. But at the same time, this has been a part of my life forever, for my entire adult life. And it's something that I want to continue being important to me. I want to continue making videos that make you guys happy. This isn't something I do for profit. It isn't something I do for anything else. When you see sponsors on videos, it's me taking a sponsor and then using that money to pay for video editing help so that I can get more videos out because I don't want to feel like I'm letting you guys down. Which I know maybe seems crazy and some people are probably going to comment like, Ryan, why, why, why bother? But at the end of the day, like I really care about this community. I really value it and it's really important to me. And especially in the first three months of 2023, there have been a lot more uploads, but I haven't felt like they have been completely hitting in the way that previous uploads in previous iterations have. I read every single comment on this channel. And when I'm working hard on an upload and getting it out and every single comment is, didn't this happen a few months ago? Or why does his voice sound like that? 
um, or didn't the clip channel spoil this? That kind of sucks because I'd rather people be talking about the actual content that a lot of work went into. But that is not on you guys. That is on me more than anything else because it is my job to figure out the content that's going to get people excited and engaged and interested. With that said, uh, here's what I'm going to do moving forward. The Hardcore Iron Man series is gone in the way that it currently exists. It's completely done. Um, there are probably going to be one or two more uploads in its current iteration, and then we're done. I'm going to try something new because that series is very far behind, and I understand how much that takes away as a viewer. It makes it kind of annoying to watch when you know everything happened a long time ago. So that series needs a complete overhaul, and we're going to give it one and see if you guys like that a little more. At the same time, there are a lot of other kind of experimental content pieces that I want to try to make. A lot of you guys seem to like the work that I do with the developers, so I will continue to do that. And I also want to bring back challenges because that's been something we haven't done in a little bit here. But the point of this video more than anything else is I want to hear what you guys think, what you guys want to see and how you guys feel about the state of the channel in 2023. Because I want to be sitting here in 2033 talking about the last 10 years of content that we've made. And I would really like to do that. The last thing I want to mention here is I make these videos for fun. And when they're not fun for me, I do not want to make videos. So although this is largely about making content that you guys want to see, a really big part of it is also going to be making stuff that you guys want to see that I can enjoy making. Because creatively, making the same cookie cutter progress video is not something I'm interested in doing anymore. I just, I cannot bring myself to do it. Even if it feels different or even if it's in demand, that's not what I'm interested in doing. I'm a creative person. I like teaching this game. I like showcasing things about this game. Um, I like editing. I like writing things. I don't like sitting down and, and chopping up the same stream bot over and over again. And you know, maybe at this point you guys feel the same way. You're like, yeah, no, I'm tired of that kind of video. But either way, I would love to hear from you. The last thing I'm going to mention in this video is that I really do apologize for uh, putting you guys on the back burner last year. It isn't something that uh, I took lightly and at the time I felt it was the right decision. I really sat down and I did the math and it was like, look, of all of the time I have, it's either I sleep even less than I already am or this is going to go on the back burner for a little bit. It was always temporary and it was really like a calculated thing that at the time I felt like was the right decision. But turns out I am not nearly as good at math as I thought I was and it ended up kind of blowing up in my face. So anyway, with all that said, the focus now for me is back on you guys. Obviously, as a profession, I am a Twitch streamer. I will be Twitch streaming a lot because that is what my job is. It's very important for me to do that. Um, but YouTube has never really been a job for me. It has been a passion project. It has been something that I've enjoyed doing and I want to get back to enjoying to do it. The other thing that I've noticed in the last couple years on this channel is I have definitely succumbed a lot more to negativity in the comment section. And I think in the past, I had a really good mentality that I really need to get back to. And that mentality was if someone is, you know, attacking my voice or what I look like or, you know, my editing style or whatever else. And it's not like a constructive thing. It's like a full blown attack designed to make me feel bad. Uh, <laughs> in the past, I would just ignore it and I would focus on the people that actually wanted me to succeed and wanted me to make the best content possible. And I think in the last couple of years, especially, you know, for for parts of that where I've had a little bit more spotlight on me, I have done a much less good job of that. I still remember when I won my first ever Golden Gnome that I had to like right click save as the video to send it to my parents because I didn't want them to see the Twitch chat and the awful things that people were putting in there about me. And I think after that incident, I've just not done a great job. As the spotlight on me has gotten a little bit bigger, I have looked at that a little bit more. I read every single comment and when a lot of the comments aren't about the content that I'm making and they're more about what my voice sounds like or what my face looks like, uh, yeah, that kind of means two things. One means the content's not that good or it's not perfect, which is fair and that is constructive, but it also doesn't feel great for me as one could probably imagine. So I do want to mention, I know it's a vocal minority that's, uh, that's doing that, but that's something as well that I've kind of let that get away from me a little bit. And I'm making this video because I want to start a dialogue with the people that actually do care, do want me to succeed, and do want me to make the best content possible. So for those people, I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think I should do with this channel moving forward. I have an absolute ton of exciting ideas that I think are going to be really fun for me to record and edit up and make and all the rest. So that's something I'm really, really excited about. But at the end of the day, your guys' opinion is extremely important too. So anyway, let's hear it. Uh, I hope we can have a discussion of some kind 
in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, last thing I wanted to say is I'm really appreciative of this community. You guys have been here for me or a part of my life for the entirety of my adult life. That is not something I have any interest in letting go of. And next time around, when I'm faced with the decision of putting you guys on the back burner to do way too much work to not get anything out of it, uh, I'm going to make the right choice next time. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you very soon. Take care, everyone.